let's go through uh, some more examples um, of understanding the concept of integration in graphs. Um, here we go, and what we have is we are asked to find and use the graph of f to determine um, these conclusions and explain our answer. Here we go. Let's let's see if we can work this out. Here we have h is equal to 1 to the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. So h equals the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. This is the function of f. Now, whenever I go through this, it's important to understand how this function h and f relate. We know that h equals the integral of function f. So that means that h, I'm going to use a different color here. All right, it means that h, all right, prime, because the derivative of this h, because h is the antiderivative of f, we're integrating it, should equal f itself. That means that h double prime equals f prime itself as well. Okay, so let's figure this out. Which is larger, h of 0 or h of 6? Well, if we integrate from h, h of 0, all right, that means we're going to set this up and go from 0 to 0 of f of t dt. In doing so, the integral from 0 to 0 is equal to 0. In comparing this, we can find h of 6. h of 6 is going to be the integral from 0 to 6 of f of t dt. And understanding what we have here is that this area, because when you integrate, you're finding the area of the curve. This area from 0 to 6 is all positive. So that is going to be greater than 0. And therefore, which one is bigger? Therefore, all right, h of 6 will be greater than h of 0. All right, let's try another one. Going here, we know that h prime of 0 and h prime of 6. Well, h prime of 0 equals f of 0, which we can see on this graph right here, f of 0 equals 8. Well, we also know that h prime of 6 should equal f of 6. Or we can look at this graph and see that, well, f of 6 right here equals 0. That's that value of f itself. Therefore, which one is bigger? Well, we can verify that h prime of 0 will be greater than h prime of 6. And there's our answer. It's pretty easy, right? But it is important to understand how does h relate to f. And since the integral of f is equivalent to h, that means h is the antiderivative of f. And if you write this out right here, it really helps you understand the problem. Well, let's go one more and see if we can do this. Let's get a different color here. All right. So h double prime, h double prime of 0 equals f prime of 0, which means it's a slope. Okay. So h prime of 0, we can see up here, it appears at h prime of 0 that this is going to be a max. So we're going to approximate that this slope is going to be zero here. Um, we are then going to go over here and say h double prime of six, which should equal f prime of six. And since we have this, we know that um, and f is increasing at this, or sorry, decreasing at this point at uh, x equaling six. All right, or t equaling six, depending on what we have. All right, x equals six. Therefore, all right, what is happening here? That means that f prime of six should be less than zero, right? Because it's going down. Well, therefore, what do we know? Which one's going to be bigger? Well, h double prime of zero then should be greater than h double prime of six because, as we stated before, h double prime of six, which equals f prime of six, and f decreases at x equals 6, that means that f prime is going to be negative, and therefore we are estimating that the derivative at f prime of 0 is the tangent, or the horizontal tangent, equals 0, and makes that true. All right. Once again, going through understanding graphs and how integrals 
All right, and the function you're integrating relate, or the antiderivative relate to one another. Well, hopefully this helps you out. Good luck and God bless in the rest of your problems.